gigantic dust clouds out in interstellar space. Mm -hmm. That dust was actually organic molecules, right? Which is the, as they say, and I hate this term, the building blocks of life. That's all that the astrobiologists, Mm -hmm. they're always looking for the building blocks of life. They're never looking for life. And they defined that and said, holy cow, well, this stuff is not just dust. It's not little pieces of graphite. It's actually, you know, carbon-based molecules, just like life is. And then it stopped there. The Their changing of what we understand is out there, but they didn't stop. What they did is they tested the spectra from interstellar clouds and they match E. coli, among other things, bacteria. So you've got the spectra there of bacteria laying upon and then the light that they see from these giant clouds. What are the odds that it matches? So then they said, that's life. And then people were all of a sudden, oh, you can't have life in space. No, man, no, 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 no. There are huge classes, and we discover more and more of microorganisms that have the ability to survive incredible conditions, that streamophiles. And first of all, why the hell would evolution endow them with the ability to survive the vacuum of space and radiation, et cetera, and so forth? But they go into hibernation. They could be out there in a just-add-water and warmth environment, and it would come back.